a lot of people ask, do I always have to take vitamin K2 with my vitamin D3? So um, what's the benefit of taking them both? This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. All right. Pretty simple. I, when you ask me that, I said, well, that's, I don't have to look in the research that one anymore. All right. Um, vitamin D is crucial. It's a, it's, as we know, it's a pro-hormone. It's probably the most powerful immune modulator uh, we have endogenously, endogenously in our system. Good God-given uh, immune modulator. So if you go outside and get sunlight in high noon for 20 minutes, you know, with a bathing suit on, so you got a lot of skin exposed. You're going to get about 10,000 IUs of vitamin D naturally. So when people always are concerned about, you know, their dose of vitamin D, I said, what are you worried about? So, so I recommend five to 10,000 IUs of vitamin D daily. Now, people don't understand that five 5,000 IUs of vitamin D is only 125 micrograms. So therefore, 10,000 IUs is 250 micrograms. That's not very much vitamin D. We're talking microgram levels. It sounds like a lot when you're talking tens of thousands of international units, but it's deceiving. So I recommend vitamin D between five and 10,000 IUs daily and k2 should be consumed with it and i'll tell you why because the vitamin d is very important in calcium metabolism k2 is also very important in calcium metabolism i'll tell you why because if you take too much vitamin d and you have, you know, you're taking calcium supplements like many older women are in particular, or you're doing dairy products. You're gonna, that you're gonna have so much calcium in your body, it's not gonna know where to go. So it's gonna seek out soft tissue and joints and cause calcifications in your arteries and veins and joints. So the K2, with the D3, acts like a, 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 a street cop where he's guiding the uh, traffic. The, cal the K2 is telling the calcium which tissues to go into and therefore which to avoid. So the K2 is like a street cop telling the calcium to go into bones and teeth. And without that, he's not going to know where to go. So a lot of it's going to go into soft tissue. That's what K2 does, like the quarterback, directing the flow and traffic of the calcium uh, in your body. And what's the um, vitamin dose? K2 dose, yeah? Yeah. All right. That was a little more complicated. There's a lot of controversy, you know. They always group K together. Vitamin K is like, but there's like seven vitamin Ks. And some books say there's 11. Um, K1 is... But the the veg, vegetable-based philoquinone, but and K2 is the menaquinone from animal product. You need both, but what I I like about my product, and I, I take I take designs for health uh, vitamin D Supreme because that D Supreme Supreme means it has K2 in it at the pro appropriate doses. So in, in, in this, this supplement here, for every 5,000 uh, international units of vitamin D, uh, they give you 50 micrograms of vitamin K2. So therefore, you don't have to worry about, you know, what the appropriate dose is by going and buy other supplements. You, 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 if you find a supplement that combines the two in the appropriate ratios, every 5,000 IUs of D, you should have at least 50 micrograms of K2 in the MK7 form. Okay? 
50 micrograms of MK7 per 5,000 IUs of vitamin D is a sweet spot. Okay. Now, a lot of people freak out about the you know, vitamin K. They go, you know, the eating disorders, the other disorders, you know, you got, you're on warfarin, you're on Coumadin. In that case, I always recommend no more than uh, 50 micrograms of K2. Okay. So in other words, you can go, you can double that 90 up to 120. Um, natokinase has 300 micrograms of K2 in every serving of natokinase, which is a fermented uh, Japanese for soy-based fermented food. But like I say, you know, to cover my six medical legally, I say if, you have, if you're on a if you have bleeding, bleeding dyscrasia and you're on uh, the, the blood thinners, don't take more than 50 micrograms of, of K2. Okay. Hey, and now do this next. Click on one of these thumbnails to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization.